and welcome back again. Um, today's video I'm going to be talking to you about chopsticks. Um, now there are two different styles of chopsticks which I'll try to show you if the camera will focus on them. That is a Chinese style chopstick and you'll see that's flat at the end. This is a Japanese style chopstick and hopefully you'll see that's pointed at the end. Um, let me hold it up there see if the camera will focus on my hand there hopefully you can see that pointed end there now what we've got um and i have to confess i bought these without testing them first because i just thought oh they look like a huge amount of fun are some chopstick kits which are these ones here they have a little tang at this end they're japanese style because they're pointed they have little I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up you might be able to hear the little ribs when I rub my nail across there. Um, they are stainless steel. They come with the world's tiniest ferrule, which is in the back. I'm not even going to attempt to show you that because it's too small. Um, I haven't measured this. I guess it's around about six or seven millimeters, something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is create um, a pair of chopsticks with wooden ends. You could use wood, you could use acrylic. It's entirely up to you. Um, and I've been racking my brains to think of the best way of actually mounting this um, on the lathe. And I'm going to show you the way that I've come up with isn't necessarily the best. You may have a better way. Apologies for the traffic. I get this every time I do a video. Um, right, so this is my way of doing it. You may have other ways of doing it. You might want to do a um, turn between centers kit. This doesn't come with an end, but we sell um, a variety of end caps that you could put on the end to make them more decorative and easier to turn. I'm going to do a single ended kit this time for these um, kits, which as I say, I thought they looked really interesting um, and quite a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you how I do them. Um, right, let me get my ugly mug off the screen and we'll go back onto the lathe and see how I'm going to do it. Just before I point the camera down at the lathe, I'll just talk to you about the length of things. This, the one at the bottom is the Chinese one, you can see that's quite long. The, the next one, which is green, is the Japanese style. You can see the length, it's not quite as long. And then you'll see on the top I'm holding our kit, which is shorter still. So it's entirely up to you how long you make um, the handle. I'm going to go for one round, to bring it up to round about the size of the Japanese. Um, one which means making a handle at this end it's around about 100 mils um, so that's roughly what I'm going to go for but it's entirely up to you if you want to make a super long one you could do that too so what I've got is my blank here this is kind of small it's a tiny little off cut this it is it's about 10 mils square um, this and I've got I'll move my tailstock out of the way let's have a look um, 10 mil, perhaps I'll go with nine and a half. I've got a couple of centimeters inside the chuck here to hold it firm. Um, let me just mark, where's my pencil gone? Come here, right. Let's, let's try it nine and a half and see how we go there. So 95 millimeters, just gonna mark a line on there. Right, that's my mark. So that's gonna be the length of my handle. What I'm actually gonna do is, um, use a center finder and um, I've already marked the end of this um, wood with a bit of difficulty because it's so small you don't have to use one this small um, it's just I happen to have these tiny off cuts so I'm going to use a center finder into the end and then I'm going to drill my hole um, into the um, into the end of the handle so this is going to be the um, the chopstick end and this is going to be the end of the handle so I'm going to turn that and then I'm going to pass it off at this point here and I'm going to do that twice obviously because they come in pairs now when I've put that in there the center finder is not in the middle so what I need to do is just loosen my chuck slightly and make sure that the center finder is pointing right in the middle There we go, right in the middle of the, and then I'm then going to tighten this up. I can only apologise, we have incessant traffic here today, uh, the, it hasn't stopped, I've had aeroplanes, I'm fully expecting a tractor to come along any minute, so I can have a bit of peace. Am I slightly annoyed? Yes I am, because we're in the middle of nowhere, 
here right so I've lined that up um, so it's fully centered there I'm going to put my little center finder bit in there because we're using quite a small drill bit for these um, and the small drill bits because they bend they can quite easily waver a little bit and we don't want that so I've drilled my hole in this end I'm just going to change my tailstock to a live center to support this end because this is pretty small to be honest so let's just pop um, a small live center in the other end which I have here the smaller it is the more space you have to work with lock that off and we're now ready to turn this to the size and shape that we want right I've drilled my hole I've changed my um, tailstock to a live center at this end quite a small one because we're doing small things now comes time for a bit of measuring and as I said before I can't I'm not sure I've, I can even show you this um, this is the ferrule that goes on I'm holding it there it's very small and it slots on like so um, and can I hold that up? Let's try and focus. There we go. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, it's pretty small. I need to measure this because we need to... It doesn't have to be exactly the same size as that, as that to be honest. You could make it slightly bigger. Um, but I am going to measure it with um, my calipers just for interest. Let's see what it is. It's 7 millimeters, So 7 millimeters across. So we'll aim for around about 7 millimeters at this end. And you can have whatever size you like at the other end. Um, and we'll turn that and see how we get on. Right, so I've kind of finished that, probably not in quite as much detail as I should, but for the purposes of the video, it's showing you what I'm doing. So I'm now going to um, just release the tailstock. I've got my chopstick kit, and I'm just going to check how it fits in the end. I'll get my tailstock out of the way. So I've got my chopstick kit with my tiny ferrule, and we'll just pop it in there like so and see how that looks it looks quite nice um, I've put a little bit of detail up here which I, when I part this off and finish polishing it I'll show you um, just to really indicate that you can put your own design um, on it so you can turn it and they are quite small a little bit fiddly maybe for some people but if you're used to doing pens and stuff like that this might be um, you know um, really interesting um, so I'm going to part that off now um, and then I'm going to try and do another one exactly the same that's the difficult bit of course as I have uh, a Japanese um, chopstick handle what else would I use but a Japanese saw just to part the end off and I'm going to finish that end um, by hand with a little bit of friction polish um, just to finish the kit off right on with part number two I've done the drilling on my second piece so I'll use the first piece just to hold up there just to mark off the end again so we can get them roughly to the same length I'm going to just cut this point here so I can see and then we'll just turn this down and we'll try and get as close a match to this one as we can Well, there we go. I've got my two handles. They're not absolutely identical, um, but they're not bad. Um, if I hold those up there, hopefully you can see. Um, I don't get a lot of practice in the um, workshop these days. I spend my life buying daft bits of metal like that. Um, 
but there we go that, that's not too bad for um, I think I'm rapidly becoming a novice um, at this so now what we're going to do is to glue these into the um, the metal chopsticks I think I'm going to use CA for this but you can use whatever glue um, that you want to um, I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to put the glue down the um, the inside of the wood or onto the I think I might put it on the metal part just at the end and then just twist them into place forgive me I'm not going to do that on camera because trying to do fiddly things like that I'll probably miss it on the camera anyway because I can't look at what I'm filming I have to look at what I'm doing um, but I will show you the finished um, result when I've glued them in um, and of course you get to avoid some of the blue language that will undoubtedly <laughs> come um, with dealing with um, some very sticky glue. Um, we'll be back in a moment. Right, so adding to the other problems I've had today with traffic, now I've got a problem with the camera mount which won't sit, it keeps trying to flop because the camera's so heavy. So I'll try and stand sideways for you, for your benefit, so I don't look like I've been drinking too much. Some days things just don't go as you want them to. Thankfully, the things that have gone as I wanted them to are these and I have to say I'm actually rather pleased with those I'm not very good with chopsticks I'm not entirely sure that they're dry I've used CA um, I've done my best to match um, the pair and I'm actually quite um, quite happy with those so I'm going to go and do a still um, and pop them on the website as we always do um, I thoroughly enjoyed making those that hardly any would um, quite fiddly but quite nice um, and yeah I'm quite pleased with those they're not very expensive you're not going to waste a lot of wood um, and you can entertain yourself for hours in your workshop that's the point at the end of the day and maybe you can get to use them for a, um, a Chinese takeaway later so we'll pop the stills up I hope that's been helpful thanks very much for watching we'll see you next time whatever it is you do in your workshop of course do it safely and enjoy it until next time bye bye for now